I've been waiting for a wheel like this for years. An instant mind-to-body connection like no other it turns you into a superhero. An extremely exciting wheel. It will also tell you where the limit is. This is the veteran Patton ride review. So let me tell you more about it. So hi and welcome to Wrong Way. I hope you like this little intro. It is pouring, powering down today in the beautiful city of Warszawa. And yeah, we got a ride review to do, so let's get into it. First up, of course, huge thanks to my e-wheel for providing me the veteran patent for testing purposes. And if you want to get a wheel like that or any other wheel in Europe, then feel free to use my discount code below for additional 5% off. I actually changed my uh, way of cooperating with my e-wheel right now, so I get sort of a standard sponsorship I get every month, so I don't get kickback from those orders, um, but I still get money to do the stuff I like. So let me know what you think about it. Just wanted to keep you guys updated about this. So I received the veteran pattern. Oh, am I in frame? Maybe not. Yeah, now I'm in frame. So I received the veteran pattern about 10 days ago, like over a week ago. And in that time, I've put over 500 kilometers on the clock, actually 600 kilometers on the clock. And very quickly, this became my favorite choice to ride anywhere. And keep in mind, this is not a full review yet. This will come to my channel, so stay subscribed for that. But I wanted to do this ride review a bit differently just because, well, I bought a new gimbal, so <laughs> I needed to test it out. But also because there's just like so much stuff to cover, I feel like it's a bit easier for me to say it in this format. So also let me know what you guys think about that. And the first thing I wanted to cover is how agile it is, how light it feels, and how well controllable the veteran pattern is. So 
Actually, I've been wanting to ride a 16 inch, or in this case, 18 inch wheel with a 12 inch rim with a high torque motor for years now. There's always been high torque wheels with a big tire, so 20 inches, 14 inch rim out on the market, but there never really was a, a high torque option with this smaller wheel. And now we have it and it's phenomenal. Five minutes after we're gonna repair our day. I think I need to set the limit a bit higher. Man, 40 psi. Okay, okay, I want to try to go down. Man, 40 psi. I don't know. I go down. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa! Oh, that was soft, actually. Like, you, you, you. easy. The thing is that this wheel weighs 39 kilograms, so it's not really light, but it feels very light just because the tire diameter is a bit smaller and the motor is extremely powerful. So when it comes to torque, I did all of my usual inclines up to 40 degrees, no problem. I couldn't sadly do the 45er um, because I didn't have enough grip on this tire. This tire seems to have maybe not as much grip as I would like, but well, on the tire a bit later. This wheel just effortlessly accelerates from zero up to 60, 65 kilometers an hour where the beeps kick in. And the special thing about this veteran wheel or Leaperkim wheel is that this is the first wheel by veteran that has progressive tilt back based on PWM. PWM is essentially a metric, which means like how much power you're using compared to what the battery state is, and it works. You have a setting in the screen where you can set up how much you know, headroom you want to have before a tilt back. So, you know, the, the, the pedals go up and force you to slow down, kicks in and it works. I set it up at 76% and usually it kicks in slightly before the alarms, like somewhere in the, in the neighborhood of the alarms, which are, by the way, really loud, which is excellent. Like finally we have it here. And this is a feature that just makes me feel a bit better like i know that i will hear the alarms here because i'm you know i ride for four years and i know when to expect them and maybe if i'm on a wider street i will you know be more careful about listening to them but you know for new riders that are just you know starting out and i want to push the wheel and i will feel the tilt back that that's awesome to have as a feature in this wheel and it is very crucial i think to the part of riding uh, the veteran pattern now you can still turn it off like if you don't like tilt back you can turn it off completely you can set it up to speed which is now also a reasonable setting well except for the 100 kilometer an hour or 200 kilometer now an hour one but you can set it over 58 which wasn't previously possible on other veteran wheels also guys, please uh, ride responsibly. Usually I'm riding between 20 and 40 kilometers an hour, like 25, 30, 35. Uh, so in this video you might see a lot of acceleration and you know, top speed runs, etc. But it's in very like empty spots, no one's around. Don't go fast on cycling lanes. Take care. I really, really like where Veteran is going with this and I hope we can implement this also to their prior wheels because it's not available now, even with, with the newest updates and just hopefully, and I think that will be just the case, it, it will be available in all of their newer wheels. Now this wheel is also 126 volt, which means again, <laughs> heaps of torque, amazing uh, braking. Check out the braking test here and also the acceleration test. I think we didn't show it before.
which means that we can have both. We can have extreme torque and extreme speed. For me, um, those metrics are totally more than enough. Well, I'll just wait for the ambulance. So many of them today. So torque-wise, it's all that you need. With a different tire, I think I can go up 45 degree incline. And speed-wise, the beeps kick in around 62, 63 kilometers an hour. And keep in mind that with this a bit smaller battery pack, they will kick in a bit earlier with a lower battery state. So with the battery at around 50, 60 percent, you'll have them at around 52, 53 kilometers an hour, which is, in my opinion, plenty, plenty for this wheel. Talking about the battery, uh, I did a range test on this wheel and it turned out to be amazing. <laughs> Maybe I'm up too excited about this wheel, but you know, it's, it's, it's just what I think and what I feel about it, both connected. So the range was around 95 kilometers, which is tons more than the Kingsong S22. And I think that it is actually more efficient than the S22. So I could go about 86 kilometers or so in usual modes. And then in a the low power mode, which you can um, set in the screen, by the way, don't use it too often because you'll uh, shorten the lifespan after your battery. Um, you can go a additional nine or eight kilometers, which is really great. And it's not like limp speed, it's 20 kilometers an hour. And again, tilt back works great. Um, to keep you from overpowering the wheel then. Uh, the only thing that is slightly annoying is that the beeps are still there, like the beep beep. When you go uh, at low battery state, not sure if it's necessary, not sure if it's needed so loud, but it's here. I guess it's a reminiscent of the Big Oat software. And honestly, I think that is like for the city use, that's pretty much all the range I need. Like, I ride usually around 50, 60 kilometers and I want to go back home and then I can charge up. And honestly, all the time, well, the past week, we'll see how it will be in the future. I've been just taking this because it's just so nice to ride. And then even with the stock charger, which is six amps, I can charge it up fairly quickly. Uh, it's three to four hours and I never have it you know, at zero percent. So I never really feel the urge to have a lot more battery. And I know with more battery, obviously more range, cool, but then you also get more weight and that is less cool, obviously. But let's talk about the agility and turning of this wheel. And I think this wheel just hits such a sweet spot, probably for me personally as a rider, but maybe you'll like it as well. So it's a lot more comfortable than a non-suspension wheel. It is not as comfortable as the Sherman S. It's not like a couch. It's just like a nice sporty slash off-roady setup with the suspension that it has and, and the tire that it has. So I can feel the turns really well. It doesn't like jitter around, it doesn't move around. I feel like when I'm riding the Sherman S and I'm still like checking if that is the case, I feel like the tire just, or the wheel assembly just moves around a bit and I can never really tell how well I will turn. Where will the Sherman S guide me? And with this, with the pattern, I am extremely precise. There is pretty much no pedal dipping in turns. There is maybe slight pedal dipping, I don't know, we have to check on the video. Slight pedal dipping when you accelerate. Uh, but nothing really to worry about. And all of the modes, uh, strong mode, medium mode, I actually didn't check the soft mode, uh, they feel really great. And medium is for like a bit more comfortable riding, hard mode is for all of the acceleration and speed you need, and torque you need. And in turns, it's very predictable. It, um, the tire thread is not you know, a sports tire, it's not a street tire, so the wheel leans a lot. 
in order to turn. But the tire is still, in my opinion, a lot more predictable and thicker, so you're not as keen to damage the rim than the S22. I do prefer this tire a lot to the S22 Pro tire. However, if you want to have the ultimate nimbleness, then you'll need to install a street tire on it. And maybe that's something what I'll do because I will actually get one of those. I wanted to perhaps buy one, but I reached out to Leaper Kim and they will let me have one. So very excited for this. And by the way, if you think, oh, he got a wheel, so now he'll say nice things about it. Well, I also had the Abrams. I got it for free. And where is it now? I just gave it back. I didn't even sell it. But let's talk about suspension. And yes, it is fairly easy to bottom this thing out. But with my riding style that I've adopted from riding non-suspension wheels, if I just do a nice preload before the bump, like, come on. Like, what's happening? Guys, I'm recording a video. So if I preload the suspension a little bit uh, before a bump, and yes, I have it on max compression, um, and I have the 62 pound shock, so I will actually get the 66 in the end, and I hope it's uh, a bit harder to bottom out. Um, I don't get the clonk at all. Oh, that was soft, actually. And if I do a really smooth jump, I don't have it either. I was also doing quite a bit of jumps on the veteran pattern, and it felt really great. Like the torque, the weight of this wheel, the weight distribution, everything is awesome. Uh, one uh, note, though, I did have a landing cutout, uh, but um, I think if it didn't cut out, I would just like fry the board because there's limits to these machines. Those machines are not meant to be jumped. So when I was doing a really big drop, uh, went after landing way too far, and I believe I was braking then to like try to brake from the position in the air. I just landed super hard, bottomed out the suspension super hard, and I just like turned off and I felt my butt. Um, but as said, maybe it could be prevented with uh, high discharge batteries or more capacitors, I know but I can't be really mad at it because I think that otherwise I would just fry it or something else bad would happen. So that's that. But yes, I think it's a bit easier to bottom out even than the Sherman S uh, because it has one centimeter less of travel and then a S22 in its highest possible setting. But the S22 is kind of hard to feel out when it's bottoming out. So not really sure, but this is just feels so great with the suspension. The suspension is smooth. It's, I think, not as comfortable also as, um, you know, air, air shocks, air suspension. So you do still feel the road, but it just works so well. I don't know, I just look at it, I do the turns, I do jumps, I ride it everywhere. And this is like pretty much a perfect setup, minus the bottoming out part uh, that I could have on a UC. When it comes to the pedal height, those pedals are actually not as high as the Sherman S. So it's a bit nicer to ride uh, um, around the city. You feel a bit more planted. It's not as high as a wheel to just step on and off from it in the city, but it's not as low as the Sherman Max, uh, which, you know, it's just you hop on, hop off, never a worry. But I think this is a very nice sweet spot for both off-roading and street action. Now off-road, of course, you would like to have it higher and the pedals are not height adjustable here, so that is a bummer. Uh, if you like doing off-road, you might want to have a bit more clearance on your wheel. But with this torque, with this like agility and nimbleness, it's still a super fun wheel to take out off-road with heaps of torque. Amazing fun. In the end, the Patton is pretty much the weapon of choice for, Matt, for now, for me, just because I can do everything with it. It's like not too heavy to be annoying and feeling like a couch and that I have to like force it around everywhere. Uh, and it's uh, also smaller than most other big suspension wheels, so it doesn't feel as you know, overwhelming to get into a store and just leave it somewhere. The trolley handle works also surprisingly um, well on this wheel. I can do stairs with it, I can do jumps, but then if I ride around and want to do turns, I want to have fun, and I also just want to go from point A to B, this just does it all so well. And even the pedals with those milled in studs and a little basin for dirt, turn out to work not as bad actually. They work a lot better than on a Sherman and I still can have a fair amount of grip 
on those. So I still could have better pedals like Nylon Oath, which will work better than those. But these work actually surprisingly nice. But in the pedal department, still no angle adjustment, no height adjustment. This is pretty annoying that there's so many ambulances around. <laughs> And with that said, I hope that you enjoyed this uh, little ride review on the veteran pattern. And um, if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.